Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thanks for watching. Wow, this is really bad. According to this article in The Telegraph, politicians are working on legislation to put property and business owners into prison for not complying with new energy rules that are in line with net zero emission targets. So what should you do if you own a property or if you run a local business? Let's look into this today. Hi, I am a former investment banker and Wall Street veteran with a wealth of experience to share with you. On this channel, I provide insights on investing, recent events, and geopolitics to assist you with escaping the madness that has now become our new reality. So as we can see with this article, this dilemma does not just end with Sadiq Khan's ultra-low emission zones, 15-minute cities, or Greta Thunberg's delusions. How dare you! Every single citizen will be made responsible to comply with whatever climate-related legislation they come up with. No, it is not the CEOs of the big mega-corporations that are cutting down the rainforest, pollute the rivers or the air, or who illegally dumb their waste somewhere in nature, or who spill the oceans with oil. No, nobody is going after them. It is you, the little homeowner or business owner, who will be the new target. Not the criminals on the street looting, rampaging, taking drugs, breaking into people's homes or cars or those who harm other people. I mean, crime is up through the roof in all Western countries. But no, nobody is going after these criminals. Everybody who had something stolen or who has been attacked knows that in many cases there is no motivation by the police or the government to go after the criminals. This upside-down society and handling of laws becomes clearer every day. What a bad joke society has become. But the problem lays much deeper. This is not just some power grab of the green or left parties. All countries in the world have agreed to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals of which all this green agenda is a major part of. The net zero objective has been signed into law, and the countries have to comply with these laws. They don't care about the negative economic and social impact of all of this because this is exactly what is aimed for, a reduction of economic activity. So this will not stop even if the responsible political parties are voted out at the next election. I would bet that then some other type of situation or crisis will appear that will result in a similar direction and outcome. Not to forget also the continuation of higher interest rates and the tightening of lending standards which will make it very difficult for small businesses and all property owners to get new financing or to service their debt in a failing economy which will soon produce unprecedented unemployment and economic hardship. This is the biggest economic rug pull in history happening right in front of our eyes. So if you have a business or you own a property, you should research these topics and make a careful decision if holding on to your failing business or getting more squeezed by your debt and raising costs is a good decision. Don't rely on how it was in the past with central banks coming for the rescue if things get tough. There is a high chance that this time is different. They may very well rescue the big corporations, but most likely they will not bail out the middle class because they no longer need you as the driver of economic growth. Quite the opposite, as more they can reduce the economic activity without creating civil unrest, as better this is for achieving their green agenda plans. You are now the new target, the new enemy in this agenda. So as a property owner or business person, make sure that you carefully consider, while you still can, if it is worth all the risk and hassle. Or if it is not better to cash out now, while you still can and retire somewhere to wait things out. Or am I seeing these things too pessimistic? Is this conclusion total BS and you disagree? Please share your views in the comments below. Either way, hope to welcome you as a new subscriber. If you found this video insightful, please give it a like and share it. That's it for today. It feels good to be back. Thanks for watching and all the very best to you.